Okay, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, I am putting together a weed whacker. And while I put together this weed whacker, I want all of you to understand that I do more than just sit around the house and do nothing. So me and the weed whacker need to come together because we're going to be going out there and killing some weeds pretty soon. That's because that's what I do. Now, while I'm doing that, I got other things that I need to talk to y'all about so that you understand. I have done videos in the past showing you guys that all that is required, and I've never put together this particular component before, so it might be a little bit more difficult than I supposed. Well, anyway, uh, to let you guys know what's going on, I've done so many videos explaining to you that you have to tender payment. You have to show evidence and proof of tender of payment, which is what we're doing for all of our clients. Why? Because that's what the law requires, is that there be a tender of payment. Now, people, you'll hear them say a valid tender of payment. Let me make sure you guys understand what valid is. Congress has said that your promissory notes are valid tenders of payment. Congress said that. I didn't. Congress doesn't control me. But they do control the courts. They do control everything else. Congress said that my promissory note is a valid tender of payment. So since my promissory note is a valid tender of payment, then there is nothing that they can say or do to stop me from using a promissory note to tender payment. I have a young man whom they put in jail for nine months because he wrote a promissory note to dissuade him and others like him from using promissory notes. Promissory notes are the law. Congress made promissory notes lawful, legal tender. See, when they made promissory notes qualify as good for paying off debts, then what they did when they made promissory notes qualify as good for paying off debts is they made them legal tender. Give Congress its credit because that's what Congress did. I didn't do it. I didn't tell Congress to do it. Congress did that on their own because Congress said, because we can. That's how Congress did it. They said because they could and nobody can tell Congress what to do. The courts don't have the authority to tell Congress what they can and cannot do when it comes to what is and what is not legal tender. The courts don't have the authority. So the courts don't get to dictate what Congress meant. Congress doesn't even get to dictate what they meant because it's in writing. Write 10, okay? It's in written format what Congress meant. And because Congress meant it, that's the law. I do hope that some of you understand this. Many of you are not getting it, and I can tell you're not getting it. So what we have done with all of our clients, yes, it has been meticulous. We've had to go step by step. Why? Because the law requires it. We can't just throw all the paperwork at these idiots at once and then say, okay, now give us back the house. We have to do step by step, and that's what we have done. Every step of the way, step by step. And now, what do we do? We go after the money. Oh, you don't understand? There is a process that allows us to pay off people's debts. We can pay off mortgages. We can pay off child support. We can pay off car loans. It's 100% legal. There is a process that needs to be followed. We are now implementing that process for our clients. Like we said, not everybody will be able to participate because the clients that we're handling foremost, we're choosing five at random. And then everybody else for this part of the service, because we never said that we were going to pay off your total debt unless you go back and you look at the website where we made such an offer. Go ahead. 
Go take a look at AMCF, where the offer was made. That's where the offer was made. You take a look at AMCF, it tells you the percentage. So this was a plan from the beginning. We will keep and carry out our plan. Okay, we have not, nothing has changed. The only thing that's necessary is for our clients to know that they will have to be patient because it is a process and we are handling the process. Ladies and gentlemen, just Google, and that's all you have to do is Google or chat or GPT, whatever they want to call it. And the reason why uh, you don't see me on the computer right now doing too much is because I'm downloading the new Microsoft Office that has Copilot, Microsoft Windows that has Copilot. Yes, I'm downloading the new Microsoft Windows because it has Copilot. And because it has Copilot, I'm going to be utilizing the Copilot in the future. It's going to be beneficial for what I need it to be beneficial for. Okie dokie. Now, what I am doing in the background, which y'all can hear the stuff going in the background, I have a weed whacker. Like I said, I got to go whack some weeds. And uh, Amazon sent it to the wrong address. It is an address that we control, but they sent it to the wrong address. And in order for it to get delivered here, because we can't have it redirected, they won't do it. We can't tell Amazon to go pick it up. We have to be charged for them to go pick it up. It is $60 total. So I spent $120 for two of these items. And I got the original charge back from Amazon, but $120 for two of these to have them shipped to this address. And so now they're here with me, and now I'm putting them together. And they appear to be sturdy enough. The gentleman told me from the company that they had redone it, and he's correct. This one is a lot more sturdy than the other one that burnt out. That couldn't handle the weight, couldn't handle anything. This one looks like it'll be able to handle. Back to the conversation. Google, a tender of payment is all that is necessary. Pay attention. A tender of payment is all that is necessary to stop a foreclosure. Then, go and look at 12 U.S.C. 412. 12 U.S.C. 412. And notice that your promissory note is tender. Now fo focus on this. Congress included that in the law. So guess what that does? That makes your promissory note, without you having to explain it, legal tender. Why? Because it is delivered and accepted by the bank. And it is the law. You don't have to explain the law to them. Ignorance of the law is no excuse. Ignorance of the law is inexcusable, people. So they cannot be ignorant of these facts. So you don't have to explain the law to them. They're going to want you to explain. Well, what are you trying to say? I ain't trying to say nothing. This is you ignorant mother law. I didn't write this junk. Y'all supposed to be following this. That's how you have to talk to them. Because they don't understand otherwise. Stupid is and stupid does. They both live in the same house. Both pay the same rent. Both stick up there and suck up the same oxygen. Stupid is, stupid does. That's how you get rid of all of this extra debt. Is by documenting tender of payment. Now I'm giving that to y'all. So that y'all can go ahead and do whatever y'all want to with it. Some of y'all going to understand it. And then some of y'all ain't. Let me say that again. Some of y'all are going to understand it, and then some of y'all ain't. I can't help the some of y'all that don't understand it. Okay? I cannot help that some of y'all don't understand it. Y'all are just going to have to get it. That's, that's all I can say for the time being. Y'all are just going to have to get it. Now, the programs we're going to offer for our clients 
is for those who are already our clients, we're going to give them a discount on the new program. Everyone else will have to pay for the program because you're going to have to realize the value that you're receiving. Okay, do, do you get what I'm saying? You are going to have to realize the value. It's not up to us to realize the value for you. You are going to have to realize the value of what you're receiving. And once you realize that value of what's being received, then we can move forward. Well, what's being received? Well, you're getting your entire debt paid off, the entirety of it. And if you're getting the entire debt paid off, then guess what that does? That means that you're getting more than what you paid for. So we are not going to go back and forth and haggle with anybody over the value of our packages because we already know that, as we told people, for our packages, nobody pays more than what's required in law. No one. No one, not a single person has ever paid more than what's required. What do I mean? Well, the fact is, if you go to an attorney and you say, hey, homie, I need you to do this for me. I need you to do that for me. And the attorney does this or the attorney does that for you, you have to pay that attorney for the work that he's done. Attorneys charge anywhere from $1,500 to $2,000 for filling out a document, depending on the document. More if it's an appeal or something like that. We're doing documents comparable to that of what an attorney would be doing for you. And their documents, they already have the templates. We created our templates for you. Took the time to make sure it had all of the correct wording. Some of you are going to try to duplicate the process. We're going to warn you in advance, you're not. Because you're not going to know where all the documents are going. Not even our staff know where all the documents are going. That's done for the protection of the process and the protection of the proprietary nature of the information. How dare people think that they could pay for our services and then take our documents that they paid for the services <laughs> and then create their own process and it's okay. No, it don't work that way, ladies and gentlemen. It never did. It has never worked that way. It never will. It is not fair to the members of the organization. It's not fair to persons like myself that individuals take advantage. It is not fair. And so we are saying no more. Okay? No mas. You want the program. You pay for the program. You get the program. You want the program. You don't pay for the program. You get the program, but you don't get the program. There are too many people out there who want to make business ventures, but they want to take shortcuts. They want to have people like me do all the work, do all the research, have all the knowledge, give them information, and then they survive off of me. So, no, we're going to leave those people out there stranded like they did before. People coming and copying what we were doing, and then the people they were helping were left in a lurch because they didn't know what to do next. So I'm going to offer this tidbit right now because, like I said, I'm in the middle of doing something. And so while I'm doing this, I'm going to give you guys information because it, it will work out. It allows me to do two things at once. So with that being said, those of you who have arbitration awards, whether it's from SICOM, Arbitration Association, in other words, SAA, or from hemp or some other place, you got an arbitration award, document the award, do your 1099s like you've been instructed to, write that junk off. Okay? Do your 1099s, do your research on how to write it off on your taxes. Once you do that, then you can go about monetizing it. You're going to have to go over, I'm not going to tell you which video. I know exactly which video I did it on. You're going to have to go over the video. It explains how to monetize it. 
Doesn't give you full details, but it gives you enough details that if you do the research, you'll be able to put all the pieces together because that's what they do. They come together like butt cheeks. All right. So you're going to have to figure out if you're going to do the research and quit sitting up here doing something just to get rich because that's what most of you did. Most of you were just trying to get rich and you weren't trying to learn. So stop doing things because you see other people doing it. That's not how it works. Stop doing things because you see other people doing it. Stop being a follower. Learn the information for yourself. Follow the instructions. Follow the rules. Once you do that, you'll become the genius. You'll become the person who has the knowledge. Right now, listening to what somebody else did and not learning it for yourself, that's not helping you. Do you want me to say it again? You're going to have to educate yourself. That's the arena we live in. You're going to have to educate yourself. You know, I'm going to like this little weed whacker because of the blade that I'm putting on it right now. It, it's going to take care of business the way I need it to take care of business. So, yeah, that, that will work. And let's get back to you arbitration agreements. Ladies and gentlemen, if any of you have received an assignment of tax credits, you need to understand what tax credits are and the value of tax credits and what tax credits can do. You're not going to receive a lot of information on the Internet. So you're going to have to go over the videos on tax credits that the Eon channel has put up. Why would you have to go over that? Well, the reason why you'll have to go over those videos is because those videos go into more detail than most of the videos you're going to find on the Internet. Why? Because they were designed specifically with you in mind. With those details in mind. So the suggestion is start studying. Yeah, 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 the videos are long. Yeah, 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 the videos talk about the, yeah, yeah, there's antics in the videos. So what? You're getting it for free. So stop complaining. Get up off your lazy behinds and learn something. I don't care if you don't appreciate somebody telling you that you're lazy. You're lazy because you prove it. You demonstrate it. Because you haven't taken the time to learn this stuff. It's right there in front of you. It's been there the whole time. And you are not learning it. Shame on you, not on me, because I know what I'm doing. I already have the information. You're the one looking for the information, so that means you're the one that's going to have to do the work. Let me give you an example. I had a young man call me up, and the worst thing in the world y'all can do is what he did. He tried to put me on a pedestal, tried to tell me I was all that. Ladies and gentlemen, there's only one person on this planet who can tell me I'm all that, and that's me. I'm the only person who can praise me. Nobody else can. I don't let people praise me. As a matter of fact, I take offense when other people praise other people. I'm the only one who knows who I am, know what I'm capable of, so I'm the only one who can give myself credit for doing something. You cannot do that. I don't care about compliments. I can give up about what you think about giving somebody a compliment. I don't need accolades. I don't need praising. I don't need nobody bowing at my feet. I don't ask for it. Don't look for it. Don't need it. But what I can tell you I do need is I just need for people to realize I'm just a man. What did the song say? I'm just a man doing the best that I could. Oh, Lord, please don't let me be misunderstood. So I'm just a man that nobody understands. See, I don't need you to tell me you know who I am, you, you understand me. I don't need that. I know who I am. I know who I am. I know what I'm capable of. Let me handle that. If you want to consult, then do the consult. You get more information in one little consult with me than you would ever get with an attorney. An attorney is going to give you so much general basic junk, he's not going to tell you the secrets. 
I will tell you their stupid secrets. I will give you more than five different angles to attack something. And if you accomplish each one one at a time, you've done your job. A gentleman paid for a consult, and the subject of the consult wasn't the matter. He called me, contacted me sometime later, and he told me his car got repossessed. So I told him what he needed to do. He didn't want to file bankruptcy. I told him bankruptcy will get you your car back. What are you worried about? You can always cancel the bankruptcy afterwards. Pay attention. Pay attention. It took him a week and a half. Then it took him another week. He got the car back. Bankruptcy court said, hey, you're running out of time. You need to get this junk in here now. Ladies and gentlemen, if any of you are going to file bankruptcy, you must take the two-hour training class. It is a simple class. you got to pay about $40 for it. you got to take that pre-filing class before you file bankruptcy. You must remember that. Tell your friends, tell your families, tell everybody and their grandmama that Congress made it so where you can't just file bankruptcy. You have to take a stupid class. The class is not going to tell you about the law. The class is not going to tell you about how finances really work in the United States. But you still got to go through it. And then you file bankruptcy. Well, he did. Hold on now. He didn't have to pay no storage fees. He didn't have to pay no impound fees. He got his car back without having to pay a single fee. Don't you think he got what he paid for? Now, he's not complaining. I'm just letting you know that when people contact me, they get their money's worth one way or the other. I don't charge what I charge because that's the fee. No, my going rate now, pay attention is $3,400 per hour. I do it at a discount. Why? Because if you go back and listen to my videos, I know what I'm talking about. Go ahead and see if anybody's ever proved me wrong on anything that I've said. Go ahead. I dare you. So I can back up what I say. I know I know what I'm talking about. I don't need to prove I know what I'm talking about because I do it every single video by showing you where I'm getting my information from. You'll hear me. I've never looked this up before, but let's go ahead and look it up now. You hear me all the time say that. Because I know what I know. That's all I know. I don't know anything else other than what I know. So what I'm telling you is what I know. We have a program that will be starting October 1st, which is approximately four days from now. And on October 1st, that program is $1,400 each, $1,480 to be exact, $1,400 each. We will cover up to $480,000. It will be $425 for any current member, and they will have to show proof that they are current member by a receipt from the original purchase of the program. $425 for any current member. What we will do is we will complete the paperwork for paying off the debt. You will receive a receipt and an explanation as to how nobody can go into court saying it ain't paid, and you can send this to the credit bureaus, and we're going to send a letter to the credit bureaus showing that the debt has been paid, that you've tendered payment in this format. It is lawful, and the other party to whom it is claimed you owe monies is responsible, pay attention, for the taxes on the capital gains. We'll be starting that program October 1st, 2023. You'll be finding out more information. It will be up on the AMCF website, and there will be a page created for it exclusively. What a payment button. Do not contact the organizations about this. This is being offered exclusively and only through the Eon Foundation. This is not a SATCOM program. This is not an AMCF program. This is not an American Legion program. This is an Eon Foundation program through the non-profit sole proprietor organization. You can't be a non-profit sole proprietor. Uh, it, they don't allow nonprofits to be. You better believe you can be a nonprofit sole proprietor. You need to understand the law. Sorry, I apologize. So, again, before 
any of you sit up there and say, I'm about to lose my home and I can't afford to pay for no consult, I'm not doing the consults forever. I, it really will be coming to a halt because I can't handle all of this junk that I'm trying to handle right now. But my job is to try to help all of you as much as I can. So if you want the help and you need a consult, this is not advertisement. This is not solicitation. I have more than enough on my plate. Then stop waiting till the last minute. Too many of you guys are calling me because you waited and waited and waited because you're too stingy to realize that the payment for a consult is half payment for a mortgage, half payment, well, actually a car note and a half. But when you're trying to accomplish things that are worth more than the value of the consult, you're not realizing. You're paying for my time. You're not paying for the service. I told you what my actual rate is. I'm not joking about that. That's what I charge on all these stupid lawsuits. That's what I charge per hour. And we're not even going to talk about the research hours. That's $1,900, almost $2,000 an hour just for the research. But you guys are getting a discount on that, which I get to write off at the end of every year. Now, I haven't written off anything. I haven't even completed my taxes. We're doing that now. Why? Because we had to take care of all of you first. I put everybody else ahead of myself. I got to stop doing that. But I can't because that's my nature. And because it is my nature, I don't have a choice but to continue doing that which I know I is and I must. So again, the new program will be October 1st, 2023. There'll be more information on the web page put up so that you guys can see on the AmeriLegion website. Stay tuned. We'll get back with all of you shortly. Have a good day, everyone.